Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these nice functional equations given that f of x equals x squared minus 6x plus 12 and also f of f of x equals 76 and what is x? So we are given a function f and also a composite function of f of x so everything equals 76 then we are interested to find x so i'll be solving this problem step by step and before solving it if anyone knows how to solve this we can drop it in the comment box so let's get into the full solution of this so the first step we are going to take is we start from f of x which equals x squared minus 6x plus 12. And let's write this thing in a fat text form. That is, applying a quadratic, um, completing the square method for this. So we try to refactorize this. That is what's called fat text form. So here we have f of x equals, let's separate this. We have x squared minus 6x plus. We are trying to factor out all this, but this is not factorizable straight. So we have to break this thing into a uh, 12a can be written as 9 plus 3. So it is easy for us to factorize x squared minus 6x plus 9. So this, this is, is a perfect. Then we have f of x equals, so x squared minus 6x plus 9 is given as x minus 3 all raised to power 2. Then here is plus 3. So if we try to expand this, we are going to get x squared minus 6x plus 12. So it has been written in a fat text form. So the second step we are going to take here, or before that, so we know that from here, we have the minimum value here to be 3. So the minimum value is 3, and uh, at x equals 3. So the minimum value is 3, and uh, x equals 3. So it means any f of x we are going to get, so the x here must not less than 3, and because of these minimum values so in the second step so suppose i let from here we have f of x let me let f of x to be equals another letter if i choose t then i want to take the composite of this if i introduce another f so we have f of f of x equals f of t but how can i get f of t it's very easy so from f of x that we got if i change this f of x to t we are going to check we are going to have t minus 3 all squared then plus 3 and f of f of x is given as 76 so by equating this together we are going to have t minus 3 raised to the power of 2 then plus 3 equals 76 and then so let's take 3 to other side we have t minus 3 raised to the power 2 equals 76 minus 3 and 76 minus 3 it gives us 73 so we have t minus 3 squared equals 73 and to get the value of t we firstly take the square root of both sides by squaring both sides so we are going to have so taking the square root of both sides uh, t minus 3 equals plus or minus the square root of 73 
and here we have t equals 3 plus minus square root of 73 and with this we have two values here t1 equals 3 plus the square root of 73 and we have t2 equals 3 minus the square root of 73 then in the next step which is step 3 we want to find the value of x and if you recall from where we have f of x equals t so we have t already which is this and we have f of x as well which gives x minus 3 squared this is for f of x then plus 3 equals why the first t here is 3 plus the square root of 73 and then 3 cancel 3 here is x minus 3 squared equals the square root of 73 so by taking the square root of both sides so we have the square root of x minus 3 all squared equals plus or minus the square root of square root of 73 and square square root cancelled so here we have x minus 3 equals plus or minus so this gives us fourth root of 73 and here is 3 plus or minus the fourth root of 73 and at this point we have two values of x x1 is 3 plus the fourth root of 73 and uh, we have another x which is 3 minus the fourth root of 73 note that all these values they are greater than 3 so let's check the second one so in the second one we test for when t equals 3 minus square root of 73 so this implies if f of x is given as so we have t2 to be equals 3 minus the square root of 73 but looking at these values so the t2 here is less than 3 but according to what we get above so we are going to have uh the f of x here is always greater than or equals to 3 and t2 here is less than 3 so it means there is always a complex solution and since we are considering only the real solutions we are going to reject this uh this step so which means the only values of x here are t plus 3 plus 4 root of 73 and 3 minus 4 root of 73 so here are the only solutions to this is this what you get let's hear in the comment box see you in the next video never stop learning bye bye